Hey, it is Andy from Fence Post, the indie music and vinyl blog, here to once again share a trove of mostly useless music knowledge about obscure bands and vinyl records. Today, I am once again looking at 764 Hero. And this one here is their first seven inch and it's for the song High School Poetry. In this video, I'm going to talk very briefly about 764 Hero, and then we will do a quick unboxing of this 7-inch. As I've noted in the past, 764 Hero is a Seattle trio, was a Seattle trio, and they took their name from the HOV Lane Violator number. They began making music in 1995. Their first releases came in 1996, this being the true first. It was released on Up Records out of Seattle. Up was a little bit more alt, a little bit more indie. They strayed a bit from the grunge and went into the weird and the obscure and the more emotive and less sludgy. 764 Hero then kind of fit the bill. Their music can be likened to other up artists like Juned, Built to Spill, and Early Modest Mouse. This came out in March of 1996, thus it preceded their debut album by about six to eight months, which came out in November of that year. Like their second 7-inch single, which also came out in 1996, the two songs that are featured here are exclusives to this 7-inch. You have High School Poetry, and you have Only Things With Arms. Now, I am a big fan of 764 Hero. It was a band that I discovered in roughly 2000 with the onset of Napster, and I'll get into that in a future video. But I discovered them, and I kind of became a little obsessed with some of their songs, like Terrified of Flight and Weekends of Sound off of their album Weekends of Sound. Their earlier stuff is equally as catchy. I love both tracks on this 7-inch. I think it's excellent for anyone that loves that kind of Pacific Northwest sound from the 90s that wasn't grunge. So let's take a look at this 7 inch. The cover really makes me think it's more indie pop as opposed to indie rock, but I'm not really complaining. I like it. It's vintage looking. It, it has that kind of twee-ish edge to it, and the music is not quite that. The back kind of follows suit. You have the track list, you have the cat number, which is up 028. And you have additional information, band, up records. Now, my copy came with no insert. Anyone who purchased this new did get an insert, though. It was a small green insert with some credits on it. Sadly, mine doesn't have that. The vinyl itself has your standard up label. That includes the black label with the blue stripe. One other thing to note about this is it says play at 45 RPM on both sides, yet in actuality, it's a misprint. It plays at 33 and a third RPM. Down in the description, I will link over to the Discogs page where you can take a listen to both songs on the album, and you can get a copy for yourself. Right now, as of November of 2022, you can snag one for between five and $10. To me, I think it's worth it. I think that 764 Hero is a very solid band. It's a great depiction of indie rock in Seattle in the mid to late 90s, and there you have it. Soon we will take a look at the third and final 7-inch that 764 Hero produced called Garrison. So don't forget to like and subscribe for me covering all of my vinyl collection, talking about each individual record right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.